And Hugh Greenwood will go back to kick the first for the Gold Coast Suns. He should slot that. Hugh Greenwood! Come at the moment, come at the man! What's going on, God Zero Nation? This is our God Zero. We are back with more AFL Evolution 2, the rebuild of the Gold Coast Suns. As you can see, we are taking on Geelong at the GMHBA ZQ UAB FT LBGTQ, whatever you want to call it, stadium. Still without some pretty big names, but I have done a little bit of playing around with the list. Corey Ellis comes in this week, Sam Day comes in this week. Just mixing it up, making sure people get opportunity. If you missed the first episode, I'll link it in the description down below for you. Be sure to go check it out. And thank you all so much for coming out and supporting that as well. It went over well with you guys. All the comments on social media I've been getting about how well it's been put together. Thank you all so much. I do it for you guys. But the Gold Coast looking to string two in a row. Can they do it? If you missed the first episode, Jared Witts and Took Miller both did ACL injuries in the Marsh Series preseason tournament. 50 and 49 weeks, respectively, is the stint they both have on the sidelines. So we're going without our main ruckman. We're going without arguably our best midfielder. But it, in saying that, Hugh Greenwood stepped up in a big way over the preseason and last week. Brandon Ellis doing some good things as well. So the recruits that the Gold Coast brought in in the offseason, getting the job done as they should be. Razor Ray getting ready for the coin toss. Might even say a few words because we all know he loves that camera. Gold Coast won the toss. That's not the only thing we're winning today, gentlemen. And ladies, whoever's watching, we don't discriminate here on the channel. Hope you guys are ready. I know I am. I was born ready, baby. Let's get this underway. Zach Smith, big contest. He's got something to prove too against his old club. And the first thing he does is get caught holding the ball. Fantastic. Barely 15 metres. or oh, high tackle against... Oh, okay. I thought it was against us, but it was against Lockie Henderson. Gold Coast up forward. Looking for a mark. Lukosia spills the ball. We got it here. Spinning around the corner. Oh, Jordan Murdoch. Looking to stick it to the... Geelong Cats as well. We've got a couple of Cats on our list currently. Brought up to the halfback flank. Off hands. Chain of handballs. We've got the odd number and we can't get it. Harry Taylor winning the two on one. Gets the ball out. Diving mark by Jack Henry out on the halfback flank. Moves the ball across goal. Very dangerous. See, I just got checked off the ball on no free kick. But if I do that, guarantee you it's a fucking charge offence. Cam Guthrie gets the handball out. Geelong working the numbers out to the wing. Good mark there by Jack Stephen. Good smother there by the Gold Coast Suns. They might get it back here, but Geelong have worked it out. They've moved the ball to their half-forward line. Off hands again. Plenty of numbers around the ball. Is that the little master? He might have gone for goal. Jack Homsch on the last line of defense. I'm going to wipe the brow. What attention early. Move it to the halfback. Flank off hands again. Geelong with the numbers. Good tackle there. Josh Jenkins held up. It's going to be a ball up. Zach Smith's been stepping up in the ruck. I'm surprised he was left in our reserves team and wasn't automatically brought in for Jared Witts. But at any rate, he's got something to prove. Hold it. Oh, it's throwing the ball against Brandon Ellis, actually. Not throwing it. Holding the ball. It's throwing the ball. Pushed in the back against Jack Henry. Gold Coast move the ball inside. Forward 50. One on one. And Hugh Greenwood will go back to kick the first for the Gold Coast Suns. He should slot that. Hugh Greenwood! Cometh the moment. Cometh the man. He has had a good start with the Gold Coast Suns. That's for damn sure. 
Good clearance out there by the Suns. They could get here to the contest. Ball spills out. Odd numbers, two on one. Chipping ball up to half forward, found by Gary Rowan. Looks to go inside the center square off hands by the Gold Coast. Plenty of numbers around. Geelong are going to work it out here. Someone pick up the goddamn ball, please. Gold Coast have it. Driving ball into the middle of the ground. Good clearing ball inside 50. Nobody home for the Gold Coast. Jake Kordajny is going to take an uncontested mark and move it to half back where Cam Guthrie's now got the ball. Moving it out to the wing. That's going to go towards the boundary. Can Gold Coast force the out of bounds? No, they cannot. Off hands again, Geelong with the numbers. Good tackling pressure by the Gold Coast Suns, mind you. Really turning it up to start the season. Got a lot of things to prove this year. Driving ball up forward. We've got somebody winning the leg race here. He's going to get... Oh, that's a smart little play off the ground. Off the ground again. Oh, it could have been deliberate, but Jordan Murdoch finding the safety of the boundary line. I'm going to get a throw in. Can we get somebody for the clearance kick? Yes, we can. Oh, just off line, Sam Day. Looking to have an impact, Sam Day. Didn't get much of an opportunity last week. Missing selection, but did well in the reserves. Off hands again. Can we go off the deck? Come on, we've got to make them pay here. That's on the ball, surely. Yes, it is. And speaking of Sam Day, for the good old seven-point play, here he goes. Mark it down, goal umpire, straight over his head, and that's a goal. And he's getting in the face as well. Get fucked, Reece Stanley. Zach Smith winning the contest again, dominating the ruck early. Cut off by the Gold Coast, but Geelong have it back to the little master. The ball spills out. Gold Coast have it. They're going to work it out into the middle. Tackled as he went to get the kick. Geelong now have the ball. They move it up to the half forward line. Numbers are with Geelong here, but the ball still spills out. And that's going to take us to quarter time. Where the Gold Coast lead Geelong, surprisingly, by 13 points. Second quarter underway. Zach Smith with a big tap again. Spilled out by Ablett. Good fend off there. Could have been holding the ball against Zach Smith, but it won't be Geelong now with the numbers. Move the ball to the center of the field. They move it up and taken by Tommy Hawkins. A little bit further out from goal than uh, what the Cats would like. But they've still got it inside their 50. Gold Coast work it out. Long ball. There is nobody home. Gold Coast are going to have to put the wheels on here. Too easy. Ball spills out in the tackle. Geelong have it back. And that's going to be throwing the ball against Mitch Duncan. They've got to make a contest here. Plenty of numbers around the ball. Clearing kick. Is he going to get there for the mark? Oh, he should have taken that uncontested. Come on. Darcy McPherson pinged for rough conduct, but I hope it wasn't a report. Tommy Hawkins gets done for rough conduct. We're just going to set it up as best as we can here. To the top of the gold square, Lukosi has pushed out. Little Master's got it. He gets the handball off. They move it to the center of the ground. Taken by Brandon Parfit. Moves the ball laterally and he's found Gary Rowan. He's going to look to move the ball inside 50. He's found a loose man. It's Tom Hawkins who plays on. And he has hit the post. He needed to make that one sit, Tommy Hawkins. You fucking nuff nuff. Play on by Homsch. Ball spills out. Good clearing kick there. Plenty of numbers around. It is taken by Sam Menegola, who plays on and kicks it out of bounds on the full. Should have taken your time, Sammy boy. Brought back into play. Halfback flank for Geelong. Off hands. Plenty of numbers. It is a free kick against Sam Day, but Jake Kuladajny has gone down with an injury. Gary Rowan has taken it inside 50. We'll have to kick it from about 55. He's, he's poked it and he's pulled it to the right. That's another behind for Geelong. Homsch plays onto himself, takes the ball out to half back flank. 
spilled in the contest. Plenty of numbers. Geelong poke it back inside. Bahom should be all over this. And he is again. Been very impressive in the back line to start the year off. Lockie Fogarty, if you don't mind, pokes it back inside 50. He's found the loose man, Brandon Parfit. Should kick the first for Geelong, you'd think. Bugger all of an angle, pretty much dead in front. And there it is. Geelong are on the board with their first, ladies and gentlemen. It is now 9, plays 14. Gold Coast a little bit against the ropes here. Can they find something to fight back? Smith's got it. Plenty of Gold Coast numbers around the ball. They need to work it out here. There's an injury to Alex Sexton. You've heard of uh, Big Tex. Well, we've got the Big Sex, and he's gone down with an injury. At any rate, Sam Day, goal number two on the board, baby! Proving he should have been selected round one. And he's getting stuck into Mitch Duncan as well, saying, you get fucked, mate. Tap straight down, back up to the 50 again. Tom Stewart takes it uncontested, the All-Australian defender. Good body work on Gary Ablett there. High tackle against Cam Guthrie. Gold Coast have it inside 50. Taken by Ben Ainsworth. Cheeky little mark out the back. I don't know how the fuck he marked that. But Ben Ainsworth should get it with the wind. And he's got it as well. The Gold Coast with an absolute flurry. What the fuck is going on? Zach Smith loses, actually, that ruck contest. Geelong inside 50, loose man. Good work there by Homsch to make up the distance. Handball to nobody in particular. He should have probably gone for the kick. Oh, that's got to be deliberate. It's going to beat us anyway. Half time, Gold Coast leads Geelong. 17 points. Second half underway. And we're kicking it off with a big win in the ruck again by Zach Smith. Who's got the ball back? Oh, he could have probably got pinned holding the ball then, but he doesn't. Handball to no one. you got to get it back. you got to get it back. Have a shot on goal, son. Out of bounds, Brandon Ellis. Looking to open his account with his very first goal for the Gold Coast Suns, but it's, it's not to be. Oh, high tackle against two meter Peter. Gives it straight back to... Oh, we're going to get this ball here. Off hands. I thought that was a high tackle then, but it's okay. Ball keeps spilling out in the contest. Little chipping ball finds Josh Jenkins, who's been very quiet. Gold Coast with it. That's going to be throwing the ball against Brandon Ellis. Geelong have it. Center wing. Pokes it inside forward 50. Gold Coast look to rally the ball back, but Geelong have it. Run it out with ease. Ball back inside the 50. Off hands again. You've got to give it to the Gold Coast defense, but they've let that one slip. Gary Rowan out the back. If there's one thing I hate more than redheads, it's a fucking cherry-picking redhead. That should have been holding the ball. He evaded one, got tackled by the other, but at any rate, ball up again. Throwing the ball against Jack Stephen. Peter Wright moves it up to the top of the 50. See what I mean? Well and truly in the fucking contest, that. Tom Stewart out loose on his own. Good smother there. We've got to make him pay here. Got to make him pay here. That's going to be out of bounds. We had a man on. We had a man on. Reece Stanley takes it at full back. Moves it up to the defensive 50. Taken by Alex Sexton. The big sex. Looking for his first. And he splits the middle, if you don't mind. Don't mind if I do. Moves up to the forward again. Good clearing kick. Brandon Ellis has been pretty good with those clearing kicks. Another clearing kick. Bounces in for a behind. You could just build a flurry off of those clearance kicks. Probably should have been 50. A Gold Coast player getting into the uh, into the goal square there. 
Oh, come on. We've got to lose. No. Come on. Hold the ball. Hold the ball. No. Call Dajny back out there for Geelong as well after his injury uh, little uh, scare, if you will. Tap down. It's going to be out of bounds again. Just trying to get on the board whenever they can to Gold Coast, but they're starting to waste a lot of opportunity. But not now, Ben Ainsworth. The little man is going to make him pay again. Make sure we line it up. Going for number two. Bang! That is a goal, ladies and gentlemen. Peter Wright wins it down in the middle again. Manic ball to be won. Geelong have it. They move it to half forward. Oh, we had a big fly there from one of our defenders. And I thought we gave away a free kick for a second then, but we got the free kick. It's going to be a ball up half forward for the Gold Coast. One down again by two metre Peter. Oh, come on. We've got to make it work here. we got to make it work here. What the fuck was that Geelong defender thinking? Oh, come on. Take it all the way. Take it all the fucking way. Keep going. Bang! Big six. Come at the moment. Come at this man. He's kicked a couple as well. After an early injury scare, the big sex, he's just pulled the condom on and he's penetrating. He's going deep. Should have taken that mark at half back, but you long move it onto the far side of the ground. Off hands again. Gold Coast should work this out. Long ball into the forward 50. You gotta get a hand in. You gotta you gotta spoil at least. Make a contest. Speaking of contest, ball spills out. Geelong, however, had the no odd number. That should oh. Throwing the ball against Jack Steven. Good tackle. That's gonna take us to three-quarter time, which is a little bit unfortunate because we had an odd man out the back. Gold Coast leading by 30 points. Who would have thought they would rattle the cats this much? Final term underway. Oh, straight down. Look at that. That is just all class from the Gold Coast. Taken by Tom Stewart, however. That centre clearance alone has painted what today has been for the Gold Coast Suns. Clearing ball up forward. Is it going to beat him to the boundary line? Just get the tackle in, son. Is that going to go out of bounds? I would like to think that was out on the full before you marked that. But at any rate, he goes backwards. He has found someone. It comes off hands, however. Good tight contest. That's going to be a throw in. Thank you. The big sex comes off for a break. Peter Wright wins it out the back. Clearing kick inside 50. The race is on. The race isn't on. Tom Stewart's going to take it uncontested. Ball moves across. Couldn't get there to spoil the kick. Moves it to half forward. Odd number out. Spilled onto the ground. But Geelong now have it. They take it to their forward line. Taken by Sam Minigola. Who goes inside 50. He might have turned it over here. I think he has. Oh, that cheeky little... Uh, cheeky little hit off the ball. Almost reportable there. Could have been holding the ball against the Gold Coast. But they're going to work it out. They've turned it over by hand, however. Ablett's gone inside 50. And they've missed. Dangerfield needed to kick that. Come on, Paddy. Homsch brings it in, takes it to half back. Geelong have it. They run. What in the fuck was that? Sam Minagola saw someone in the third level and thought, I'll, I'll just give it to him. He can have a possession. I was just about to say Gold Coast with plenty of numbers. Gary Rowan has missed as well. I don't understand. I'm playing on all Australian difficulties, so you'd think that the AI would be a lot more capable of kicking goals, but apparently not. Oh, that almost bounced all the way. Gary Ablett. Starting to think, if you fuckers can't kick it from inside 50, I'll have a ping from outside. They really need to do something about the setup, because if you've noticed, 
when I'm kicking it in, sometimes there's a Geelong player technically just sitting in the goal square waiting for me to bring it in. Need to do something about that. Geelong by hand, they have stuffed up a certain goal there. And the race is on. The race is on. Tom Stewart wins it, but Gold Coast get in with a tackle. We've got the numbers. Move it to the forward line. Oh, no. If I move it to the forward line, I meant the, the, the top of the square. Meddling my words up. Tap down. Gary Ablett's got it. Gets the handball off. Geelong look to stroll out of defense. Ablett's got it again. He's not going to hit that, is he? Oh, he did. Sam in a goal. Homp should win that race. Clearing kick out of defense, and he's found a loose man as well. That should have seen... That, how was that not a clean mark? Uncontested. Gold Coast with the numbers. They get the ball forward. He might stroll in. He might kick a goal. He has been king! Bow down, peasants. That was a good string of play right there by the Gold Coast Suns. Probably the best passage we've seen all game. And I'm probably not the only one at this point in time thinking, what the fuck's going on with Geelong? Gold Coast again have the ball. Chipping ball up forward. Jack Henry probably should have gone a little bit longer with the kick. Reece Stanley has it. He moves it laterally. Gary's probably going to get the tackle there, so we go off the deck. It's, it's okay to play soccer every now and then as long as you move the ball forward. That's all we're about. Forward movement. And ladies and gentlemen, if you don't mind, at the Alphabet Stadium, the Gold Coast Suns have started the 2020 season 2-0. Two and, two and oh. I'm, um... I'm surprised. I am very surprised. That's uh, that's something I didn't expect to see, ladies and gentlemen. We defeated Port Adelaide at home by the B-dickest of margins. We then travelled to Geelong and we absolutely thumped them. Well, not thumped, but in the, in the grand scheme of the score and given our, our stature as a club. Hugh Greenwood best on ground. Ben Ainsworth getting in the votes as well. I wonder how Gary Rowan got in the votes. There's a couple of players I would have thought that would have been in the mix. I think Brandon Ellis had a better game than Hugh Greenwood, but... I mean, Brandon Ellis right there, he had eight touches. Jordan Murdoch had seven and kicked, kicked a couple. Homsch did very well in defense as well. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in this series, we did it once before, we're about to do it again. We're about to hit the post-game press conference. I'm going to go address the boys, tell them how proud I am, and uh, I'll see you guys shortly. Hello, Coach Zira. This is Fu Yang from the Oriental Advisory. How does it feel to be at a new club? It feels good. It feels good to get a fresh start, to be able to mould another crop of young kids and hopefully help elevate them to the next level. As I mentioned in my first opening press conference for the Gold Coast, a little bit disheartening that Carlton threw me out on the curb, so I'm very thankful that the Gold Coast gave myself a lifeline, and I'm looking forward very much so to seeing what this young team can do. Mo Lester from the Lenny Saver here. I was wondering how far you plan on sticking around as the head coach. And what more would you like to be done from your players? Thank you, Mo Lester, for that question. Um, it's a good one. It's a bit of a touchy subject, but I plan on sticking around for a, for a while. I don't see this as a flash in the pan like Carlton. I think Gold Coast are wanting me to be here for a reason. They've entrusted me with this list. They've got a plan. I'm not going to reveal that plan just yet. But I think I can help deliver as to what they're looking for. As you asked, uh, what more could I want from the players? Just giving 100% every week. Just effort. Effort after effort. And when it comes to being on the field, not just one effort. We want those second, third, fourth, fifth efforts. Always follow up. Success will follow if effort 
is persisted with. That's just my philosophy anyway. I'm Carlos Spicy Wiener from the Beaver Probe CU paper in the NT and I would like to know as I'm sure others wanna know, do you think you really have a chance to stick it in with these players and get them off the crusty bottom and as a premiership team? Ah, Spicy Wiener, I've spoken to you before. The CU paper in the NT is a uh, very particular paper. I uh, I think I can. I think I can take them off the, the crusty bottom, as you like to call it. Um... They've been there for a little while. There's, there's no secret about that. And we know what the outlook is amongst the AFL supporter base when it comes to the Gold Coast. I feel we have the list to go places. It's just that list hasn't been utilized in the right way. And I feel that I am well equipped to take this list to places that they haven't been before. Now for some questions from social media. At Immortal Banana asks, it's no secret the AFL world think that the Gold Coast is a joke. What do you plan on doing to change this outlook of the club? Immortal Banana, great question. As I just mentioned to Mr. Uh, Carlos Spicy Wiener over there, it isn't a surprise to know what the fans of the AFL think about us. I mean, I would hazard to guess maybe even the Gold Coast fans feel a little bit... Uh, a little bit of distrust towards our loyalty to them. We haven't delivered on promises that have been made in the past, but it's a new dawn. It's a new era. With me at the helm, I can assure you there are going to be some changes. What am I planning to do to change the outlook of the club? First and foremost, each and every week, I'm going to make sure the best possible team is selected. And I'm not going to be taking any passengers. If people don't want to put up their hand each and every week to get the job done, they can go play in the reserves for all I care. Um, it's, a, it's a business. It's a cutthroat sport. If you don't have what it takes to make it, then somebody else is going to take up and, you know, step up and take that opportunity. And I'm not going to stop a young kid from getting that opportunity if it's well and truly deserved. At Rockstar Pool 69 asks... Who do you think can lead the Suns to the Premiership? Who do I think can lead the Suns to a Premiership? I think the list we've got can take us to a Premiership. They've just been underutilized, as I've mentioned through this press conference already. I feel the recruits are going to take us a long way. Hugh Greenwood, he's had a huge two weeks of football. Jordan Murdoch up forward, absolutely incredible. Brandon Ellis injecting himself in the game. Zach Smith has returned to the Gold Coast. And in the absence of Jared Witts has stood up tall. We've got the kids to do it. We've got the team to do it. It's a matter of their drive and their want to do it. Thank you all for coming out again. I hugely appreciate it. If you have been enjoying AFL Evolution 2, there's going to be plenty more of it on the channel. So hit that subscribe button down below. You're not going to want to miss a beat. Hit that like button as well if you have been enjoying it. Because it goes a long way to supporting myself. I can't thank you guys enough for all that support. At the end of the day... I do this not only for myself, but I do it for you guys as well. So thank you all so much. If you guys at home have any questions you want to see asked during the press conferences post-game, be sure to leave comments down below. I do read them. I do take note of them. And if you want your voices heard, all you got to do is let me know. You can alternatively hit me up on social media. There are links in the description down below to follow me on those. But that's it from me, guys. I'm out of here. And as always, I will catch you guys next time.